All right, all right, all right. Stop the video. Stop it. Stop the intro. All right. Just move this out of the way, okay? There we go. Anyway, I want to do something different for this video. Something like a, a celebration about a popular internet franchise. Or something nerdy or... Be right back. Who's gonna take you back to the past? To play the shitty games and suck ass he'd rather have. Alright, well, that was fun. Anyway, this video, we're gonna talk about the angry video game nerd. What can I say? He's the best game reviewer that we all know. James Rolfe, the creator of the character, only did a couple of these videos just for fun. Since the growing popularity of all of his fans following his work, he has inspired different people to review video games, well, including myself. Well, that's not the reason why I'm doing this video. I'm doing this because of a certain game. In May of 2004, the nerd gave a warning about a game called Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Made it perfectly clear. Do not play this game! What I understand, after the original video was out, people have played it. They never listened. Well, I hate to be an angry bastard, but it's all your fault. Yeah, you couldn't heed his warning. Your curiosity had just exploded and want to check the game out yourself. I listened to the words of the nerd, and once he said, do not play the game, I listened. Why? He called it a piece of shit. He called it an awful steaming pile of goat shit. But that was honoring it. He could have taken a shit on this game and it wouldn't matter anyway. Well, now I realize. The one nerd is not enough to tell you how awful this game is. So I'm going to have to take the risk and play the game myself to show you how bad this pile of filth is. Alright, this is for the nerd. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, the game was loosely based off of the book by the same name by Robert Louis Stevenson. It's about a doctor creating a potion to expose his inner evil. It was interesting. Once I heard the story, I fell in love with it. Then I saw the first Spoken film starring Frederick March, and I love that one. Now once I heard that there was a video game adaptation based off of this source material, I was really confused. A what? A game based off of a book? Why am I getting the feeling that's not gonna match? So after seeing the nerds review, I got curious and read the book myself to figure out the source material before I dive into this piece of shit.
You know, I hate to delay the inevitable, but what's up with the guy on the cover right here? He looks a lot like Two-Face. You know, I was thinking, maybe they took the picture of Jekyll and Hyde from the likeness of the 1941 movie poster. Does it have the same resemblance? But, nah, that's just all I know. But, this is just the most creepiest image ever. I mean, the most creepiest image in any video game cover. I mean, have you ever heard of any other ones? Maybe this is the only one. This game was made by Toho? Same company that made the Godzilla films? Alright, I had enough bullshit with Godzilla the other day. <sighs> Alright. Let's just do this. Now I'm ready. Alright, before we start this review, I'm gonna have to give a little test run to see how this game plays out. So here's the deal. You only get one life throughout this entire game. You heard me. One fucking life. That is horse shit. There are many ways to die. The only three ways I know. When you're as Jekyll, you die the regular way. But when you're as Hyde, there are two different ways to die. Number one, the most obvious reason. Getting hit too many times. Number two, getting as far as Jekyll. Whenever lightning strikes and you stop at your tracks, that's the reason. You've gone too far. So, just to clarify, if I ever get to explain what happens here, then your brain will just fall out and then you'll never understand what's going to happen later on in this review. Let me just say it's just going to be a brain fart. The main weapon you have is his cane. This is the most worthless weapon in the entire game. It doesn't do anything, and no matter what I do, it will never connect for damage. Who the fuck designs a game with a worthless weapon in a fucking game? You have to be on brain damage if you ever thought of that. Well, the concept is a bit confusing. Dr. Jekyll is heading off to his wedding, and this nut kicker of a game is sending everyone out to kill you. When you're Jekyll, it's just a boring ass game to play. Saying this makes you fall asleep while playing it. When you're Hyde, it's like a totally different game. First off, it sets off in auto-scrolling mode, which I personally hate in video games. Second, you shoot some weird projectile that goes in a wavy pattern, which makes it hard to hit your enemies. And third is the enemies. They weren't even in the original story. You're supposed to go around raping women, get drunk, get picked up fights at a bar. That's Mr. Hyde. But no, you shoot wavy projectiles, which the game calls it the Psycho Wave. And Psycho is a perfect word to speak when you're playing this game. Now I know that all of you have the same answer on your minds, but let me just clarify it to the handful of people that don't know. Does any of that shit that happens in the game happen in the book? Well, I have read the book back in high school. No. Of course not. Although that some of you that said that it has some resemblance to the book, you should go check yourself into a mental hospital because you're delusional! This feels like there is no end to this madness. 
It just keeps going on and on and on. Holy fuck, I can't believe this. Hyde just dropped from one step and he died. How in the holy mother of elephant shit does that make sense? Did he just stub his toe and then he cracked his neck at the end? This is just raising a lot of questions right here. Also, these fucking spiders suck. Oh, come on, go up! Go up! Go the fuck up! Oh, come on! Those of you who don't know, I'm growing a beard right now. That's how much time of patience is wasting on me! Ah, oh, finally! Man, what is up with this crazy game? We have townspeople attacking me in any way possible. There is an opera singer singing badly. Yes, this explains everything. Her singing is so bad, it hurts you. I guess it does make sense. But there's also a kid throwing rocks at you from a slingshot. What does this have to do with Jekyll and Hyde? Plus, there's also some animal abuse here in this game. We got cats and dogs chasing around, spiders hanging down to waste my fucking time, bees flying around just to annoy me, and birds shitting on me. You heard me. Birds shitting on me. The fucking shit? Why do they put this in the game and why do they shit half their sizes? Birds shit on white splatter palettes, not brown coiled up poop mountains. Don't be ridiculous, dogs shit that way. Saying that sums up the entire game. You know, I could spend a half hour talking about this shitty game, but I don't even want to bother because summing this up is already terrible as it is. With the story of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, I would expect something better than this miserable pile of fucking shit. Combining terrible graphics, ear-bleeding music, disgusting controls, and a fucked up concept makes this one of the worst games I've ever played on the NES. And now I get what the nerd is saying about this. It sucks. It blows corn chunks right out of your nose and makes you shit rusted nails from your putrid asshole. Fuck! 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 Fuck!